hello student uh, today we will go for the new topic that is a slip cage in that we will first see the introduction of the slip cages use of the slip cages grades of slip cages ringing and its process and last topic we will go the for the problems on the slip cages here the next is the introduction to slip cages Children, I have shown you the this is a slip cage, and uh, this slip cage it looks just like a rectangular piece here. This is a complete set of the slip cages. Uh, the, in the box uh, which which contain the forty five pieces or even eighty seven pieces or one one zero five pieces are available here. Now, how uh, we can define? First of all, I will tell you that the slip cages was designed by the Johnson, and that's why it is also called as a Johnson cage. Um, slip cages is a rectangular block made up of high carbon, high chromium steel, and it's as per the cross section is concerned here. I will show you it's 30 by 10 into thickness. What it means? Now here we can see uh, this is the actually the 30. This is the ten, and the thickness goes on varying according to the sizes of the slip cages we are choosing. Then next is the use of the slip cages. Uh, as I will tell you that the slip cages is first of all act as a masterpiece because it is highly accurate. Uh, here I am checking the accuracy of the micrometer with the help of slip cage. So that is a first use. Second, I can show you here. the we are setting this dial gauge by using a slip gauges even we can take the example of the vernier also and even the slip gauges are also used to set the this as a sign bar this sign bar is the instrument which is used for measuring the angle but for that also we are using the or taking the help of the slip gauges next grades of slip gauges here there are five grades of slip gauges first one is the grade 2 which is also called as a production grade uh, i have shown some example also here uh, why we are talking as a grade 2 in the workshops or we are using here there are two cutters milling cutters i can say and which is mounted on the arbor and the distance between these two cutters can be set by using a grade 2 type of slip gauges there is a second example uh, this is also the cutter which you have shown and we can set to a certain height from the table by using the slip gauges second is the grade 2 uh, which is mostly used in the uh, tool room and here also i have shown one example it is also used in the sign bar which i have already shown in the previous slide here this is the our adjustable type of snap gauge this gap can be set by using the slip cage here so for that we can use the screw driver here there is adjustable screw is there and this button can be moved in a forward direction or a backward directions so that is a second grade which has been used in the tool room third is the grade 0 which is also called as a inspection grade i shown some example here uh, this is a, actually the gigant fixture is uh, just like a die here and especially the dies uh, should be made at a very high accuracy and uh, in the inspection room we can check the dies there so that examples we have shown here then the grade 00 which is a reference grade see the in the reference grade uh, the previous grade 1 and grade 2 can be checked by using this grade 0 so grade 0 is also called as a reference grade last is the calibration grade so this is a special grade size it is highly accurate so these grades are mostly used where there is a uh, calibration rooms are available right or calibration labs are available there only we are using the calibration grades so again the various instrument we can calibrate next is the ringing of slip cage this is a very important topic my friend Uh, when we are talking about the ringing, what happens here? I'll show you the examples also here. Um, 
uh, we have taken the two sleeve gauges here we have shown and these two sleeve gauges we are clean it right and and these two uh, sleeve gauges are have perfectly flat or accurately flat surface and we are sliding together under pressure means here with the help of thumbs we are applying a, a pressure and they are adhere firmly adhere means wo dono chibak jate hai so why, how it is possible we hum yahan to fevicol to use nahi kar rahe isko join karne ke liye because when we are built up the dimensions a number of slip gauges or we are using means we are making the combination of the slip gauges there so for that the ringing process has been applied so but jaisa maine bataya ki fevicol use nahi kar rahe fir bhi chipak raha hai ye so what is the reason that there is a somewhat molecular attraction between these two matting surfaces and the liquid films are um, uh, uh, partially the atmospheric pressure is also applied there and due to that phenomena the both the slip gauges they are adhere firmly then what will the process how the process you have to do of this ringing there are four basic steps of the ringing uh, first i have i taken a two slip gauges here and we are just oscillate means we are just moving one slide uh, one slip gauge over the other and due to the reason uh, why we are sliding if there is any forging particles are there it will get removed second then place that two slip gauges perpendicular to each other now in the second stage third what we are doing we can apply a twisting moment there okay so when we are applying a twisting moment they will again adhere means they will get aligned with each other so uh, in the in, uh, in the process of ringing the important thing is that sliding and the twisting moments has been taken place so so the in the this is the basic process what we are using for the ringing so all these i have written here also next is the slip gauge set is yes, i uh, i already told you that there are different sets available 45 87 105 112 so number of uh, slip gauge sets are available here i this i am showing you now in this case uh, uh, basically uh, this is a chart actually along with that slip gauge box uh, so we come to know that what type of range are available there just example we'll take here suppose 1.001 to 1.009 step is 0.001 if i add uh, the 1.001 plus 0.001 what is my next slip gauge it is 1.002 1.003 so and uh, and last there will be a 1.009 so total nine pieces are available there next is the 1.01 to 1.49 and uh, here there is a step is 0.01 means again if i add 1.01 plus 0.01 my next slip gauge will be the 0.02 1.02 1.03 one point so to at the last there will be a 1.49 so total pieces will be 49 there 0.5 to 9.0 again if i add 0.5 plus 0.5 my next slip gauge will be a 1 then 1.5 2 2.5 like that so 9.5 means total 19 pieces are available in that slip gauge next is the 10 290 what it means 10 to 19 here again uh, the step is 10 so my next slip gauge will be 10 plus 10 will be 20 then 30 40 50 like that so total nine pieces will be there and uh, last is the 1.005 dash 1 means there is only a single piece available in that box so here total if i add all the, the number of pieces so total will be the 87 so like that Uh, you should uh, uh, this especially the set uh, slip gauge sets are uh, used while doing the problems also so that's why it is very important now steps to solve the problem uh, students uh, will see the example there arranging the dimensions of 34.468 mm by using a set of 40 m45 m means it is a millimeter right means Uh, whatever the uh, slip gauges we are using all are in the mm that is the meaning of that so i have shown this a uh, slip gauge box here with a with a total number of pieces 45 i uh, will go one by one it's a very easy so first i taken the 34.468 how to solve the problem here 
first concentrate on the last decimal what is my last decimal the my last decimal is 0 0.008 so 0 0.008 means in this range can you select the 1.008 from this range yes it is available there so i have selected 1.008 so what will be the difference there it will be 33.46 then again concentrate on this this second decimal here means that is a 0 0.06 0 0.06 kaha se milega humko yahan se so 1.001 1.02 1.03 45 so 1.06 will be available here and so 1.06 i have taken and again i have uh, subtracted so what is my next value is 32.4 now again concentrate on this last decimal here is 0 0.4 0 0.4 we means here is 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 .1 so i can select from this and my answer will be the 31.0 and then last one, we can select the slip gauges of one here first right what is my remaining there 30 and now 30 i can select from these 10 to 90 so yeah say 10 20 30 like that i will select from that and in this way i have selected a fine number of sleep gauges to build the 34.468 so this is a very simple method to understand if you don't understand even i return all this process in more details you can go through this and you can solve the any problem i show the other problem also there 58.975 so here also again concentrated on the last decimal there 0 0.005 will be the largest so 1.005 is available in this range so i take it then 57.97 student well just i will give a clue that for whenever you are using the slip gauge there should be a minimum number of slip gauges you should select so what in this problem basically what they are combinedly both the figures has been considered 0.97 at a time in that case one more thing i will like to tell you that 1.47 i selected always think that if here if you get a five as a reminder there in that way you can select these slip gauges which is very easy for you to solve the problem then we'll get a 56.50 so then we'll think of the 0.5 so where will you i am getting the 6.5 here will you get a 6.5 here yeah so from that we'll select a 6.5 the remaining will be a 50 and again the 50 will available here from in the range of 10 to 90 so in this way one two three four slip gauges we are used to build these dimensions and uh, next one more problem we'll see here slip gauges to be run together means again i have to build this much dimension that is 92.357 using a two protection slip gauge what is the meaning of the protection students when we are using the slip gauge box uh, especially the we can use the two uh, protective slip gauges so that the remaining slip gauges will not get um, um, wear and tear suppose in this diagram i will just show this top and the bottom i taken a two protective slips uh, which having a value here 2.5 in the problem it is uh, given that we can use the 2.5 so i has uh, having a protective type of the, means remaining slip gauges will get protected there will be no wear on the slip gauges so first of all you minus that protective slip gauges then my answer will be the 87.35 now here the problem gets start and now again think on this last decimal okay 0 0.007 so i can choose the 1.007 from the set box or whatever it is the 87 or 112 jo aapko diya hai wo use karna hai and the remaining will be a 85 now here also what we have done again i taken the 10 as a slip gauge there my answer will be 75 and last we'll take a, again a 75 and from that we can solve this problem so in this way uh, uh, total number of slip gauges one two three four 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 actually the slip gauges and two are the protective slip gauges